Welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you the QuickFile cloud-based accounting software app. This is the app-based version of the QuickFile computer software and works in tandem with that software via the cloud. If you are interested in the software, I will leave a link to it in the description as well, where you can get 10% off. So with all that being said, let's take a look at the app itself. The app itself is of course available on Android and iOS. Just search QuickFile on your relevant store and download it. Once you download it, it will ask you to sign in. So sign in with your relevant QuickFile details, or if you haven't already got a, an account with them, simply create an account on the app or on the computer software first. If you're already a member, all of those invoices expenses will come over onto the app via the cloud. So the dashboard page will show you your ins and your outs, your sales and your purchases. In this case, I'm very much in the red, but it's very similar to the QuickFile computer software. Very simple, very clean aesthetic, verging on basic. The app itself is very quick and responsive, which is always good considering it looks a bit basic. So from this dashboard page, you can do a number of things by clicking on the plus symbol. You can add a new receipt, uh, new sales invoice and new estimates. I'll show you how to input a new receipt a little bit later on in the video. If you click on the three bars at the top of the screen, you've got all of your different options. So you've got your sales, your estimates, your purchases. If you just click on the sales section, it will show you all of your sales. You can click the plus icon and you can actually input a new invoice on here. Simply type in who it's for, the address, all of those relevant details, and a new invoice will be created for you. The same goes for the estimate. So click the plus symbol, and then you can fill out a new estimate. So if you've just been to a job site and you wanna do an invoice straight afterwards, then click on that, fill out the details, and you can send it off in a matter of seconds. And a professionally made estimates invoice will be created for you and then sent to the relevant party. You can also put your own branding onto it as well. So it's a fully professional looking invoice with your details and your branding all over it. You can input purchases here and you can see all your purchases. Um, I'll show you how to do that in a minute. And the same goes for receipts. You've got your client list. Again, that'll come over from your computer software. You can also input clients here as well, as well as new suppliers. You've got your relevant banking on here as well and a various numbers of reports as well. You've also got your settings section where you can change it to light dark mode. You can also access the app via the fingerprint so you don't have to faff around with passwords, which is great. The main party piece of this app is the ability to input uh, receipts and invoices straight into the app and onto the software. So there's a number of different ways of doing this. You can either do it through the purchase page or just from the dashboard page, which is going to how I'm going to show you. Simply click the plus icon and then click the new receipt icon. It'll take you to the receipts page. From here, simply click the camera icon and it will launch your app. Simply take a picture of the invoice receipt. The picture will come out blurry initially, don't worry about that. Eventually it'll come out much sharper. And then once you're happy with it, just click save. Then input the price of that invoice, in this case, 1186. This is where you do have to input things manually. So it's not a completely automated process where the camera will take that information out of the receipt. You do have to do it manually. So it's not as quick as some of the more expensive pieces of software and their apps, but it works perfectly fine. And it's still a time saver, even if you have to do it semi-manually. Once you put the price in, click OK, create new expense. It'll ask you the who the supplier was, in this case, Tesco. So from your suppliers list, so we'll click a Tesco and carry on. It comes to the expense page, and this is just a breakdown of that expense. And you just have to put something in the description box. In this case, it was for petrol, so I'm gonna type in petrol so I know what the expense was. And just check the relevant details, make sure it's okay, and then click okay your receipt is created it's created a professional looking expense with the relevant details on it and this will appear on your software as well once you've logged on and the photo is attached to this as well so you've not only got the original photo of the expense but you've also got the created receipt from the software so you've got that original as well which gives you that peace of mind and it's all backed up on the cloud for you once you've done that it's simply shown in your purchases 
page, your expenses page, and it will show up on your dashboard as well, as well as your computer software as well. I think it's a great addition to the computer software. It gives you a lot of added functionality, saves you even more time. It just makes the software an even better option, particularly if you're a small business or a side hustle and you wanna do your accounts professionally. This software will only cost you 60 pounds a year if you take out the full subscription or it can be free if you just do a few invoices a year. It really is a, a great option. The app is free as well. As I mentioned earlier, I will leave a link to it in the description. And if you do use that link, you can save yourself even more money and get 10% off your subscription. If you found this video useful, don't forget to hit that like button and maybe consider subscribing for more videos like this. And that just leaves me to say thanks again for watching. Bye for now.